The reason why your broilers are dying can be attributed to nutrition, sudden death syndrome, heat stress, stocking rate, metabolic disorders, etc. But there are two reasons why your broilers may die suddenly without any symptoms of illness. These two conditions include sudden death syndrome, SDS, and heat stress. These two conditions can lead to death within a short period of time. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to explain to you more about these two major conditions that cause broiler chickens to die suddenly and I'm going to show you how to prevent and manage these two conditions. 1. Heat stress. Heat stress is one of the major challenges facing most broiler farmers across the world. Heat stress results to increased parting, increased water intake and eventually death. Access to cold water, ventilation and adjusted feed schedule can help provide relief to the birds. How to manage heat stress in your broiler chickens? 1. Ventilation You can manage heat in your flock through airflow. Airflow at its bird level is the key to removing bird's heat. You can increase ventilation in your poultry farm by including more windows when constructing. Also, you can increase ventilation by using fans which bring air through mechanical ways. It is preferable to roof your chicken pen with aluminium or asbestos. However, caution should be taken while using asbestos because it is a health risk. The second way to control heat stress in your poultry farm is by feeding. Feeding your birds in the morning and withdraw the feeders 6 hours before the temperature get hotter in the afternoon. You can reintroduce your feeders after the hot temperatures have started to decline. You can do this by feeding your broilers with 60% of their feeds in the morning and 40% in the afternoon when the weather is much cooler. The third way in which you can manage heat stress is water. Their water intake increases from 2 to 4 times their normal intake. Sufficient water spaces, drinkers, and cooler water temperatures will encourage the birds to drink and you can add ice to the water if it is warmer to encourage them to drink. The fourth way in which you can manage heat stress is by adding electrolytes. You can add electrolytes in the flock's drinking water for three days. Heat stress causes increased loss of minerals in the chicken. Provide the electrolytes before the heat stress period. The fifth way in which you can manage heat stress is by supplementing your chickens with vitamins. Vitamins such as vitamin A, B, E, and B complexes, which can be effective in tackling heat stress mortality in your broilers. The sixth way in which you can manage heat stress in your broiler chickens is by ensuring that you have a proper stocking density, which is manageable and not congested to prevent piling and stampending. This may get worse if there is a cautional noise around your pen. Now that we have looked into heat stress and how it causes your broilers to die, now let us look into the second major cause of broilers sudden death, which is the broilers sudden death syndrome. Sudden death syndromes occurs in broilers of all ages. Affected birds may die in a condition sometimes called a heart attack. Sudden death syndromes can be controlled or mitigated using several feeding strategies. These feeding strategies include 1. Feeding your broilers with feeds which has higher corn to wheat ratio. 2. By feeding your broilers with feeds which are rich in meat meal. Also, by feeding your broilers with a protein capacity of 24% rather than 19%. 3. By ensuring that your diet contains sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is unsaturated oil and it's a source of repeats. 4. By feeding your broilers with feeds which contain low levels of calcium, phosphorus, potassium and magnesium. 